Yo, what up guys? Welcome to Jacksoft to another adventure. For those of you who've been following this channel for the last year or so, you guys already know, I am a huge Chinatown enthusiast. And for those of you who are new to this channel, yes, I am very enthusiastic about Chinatowns. I like to learn about the different history, I like to check out the different architectures, and just seeing all the unique things each Chinatown has. So, I'm currently here in Marysville's Chinatown because turns out Google also knows I'm a Chinatown enthusiast as well because a couple weeks ago, I just so conveniently came across news that they're having a Buck High Festival here in Marysville's Chinatown. Well, it's been a while since I've been here and I've never been to a Buck High Festival, so I wanted to come check it out. So yeah, join me as Jack Soft to Marysville's Chinatown. Let's go! Alright, so the last time I was here was during the Taco Festival where our Chinatown enthusiast dog, Two Dollar, won top five in the beauty contest. So check it out. So right now, this is like the food section. Excuse me. Alright, Kelly Coin, you got merchandise here. Some more stuff, you hear the tiger stuff? Wow, there's coffee over here. There's more stuff down there. Let's check this out first before the parade, I guess. Oh, you can start to hear some Cantonese in the background. Some aunties here. Woo. Some more Chinese lanterns here. All these enthusiasts out here. And look at this. Wow. Yeah. Alright, so I think that's it. Over here, this is where the parade route's gonna be, so let's check it out. Everyone's here looking for their spots already. We're gonna go find a spot too with a nice backdrop. I'm thinking over there where the Swiss Singing building is. So let's go see. Alright, so for those of you who don't know any history of Marysville's Chinatown, or for those of you who forgot, who didn't watch my video last time, damn you guys. But here's a very quick summary of it. So this is Marysville's Chinatown right here. As you can see, some historic buildings and a huge garden right here. But here's a quick summary. So back in the gold rush days, this was actually a very prominent Chinatown because of its proximity to the northern gold mines and also it was very accessible by boats. Back then they didn't have no roads so driving was really hard or they didn't even have cars, they had like stagecoaches. But yeah, so from San Francisco all you had to do was get on a boat, sail up the Sacramento River, into the Feather River, and then voila, you're here in Marysville. Well, like many Chinatowns, eventually the Chinese people here assimilated elsewhere which led to the decline of this Chinatown. But unlike some of the Chinatowns that have completely disappeared, you still have some old remnants. There's also a very active Bukhai temple down there. So every year, Chinese people will come back here to celebrate Chinese New Year and also the Bukhai Festival, which we're going to experience today. So yeah, there you go. Super quick summary of Marysville's Chinatown. Now, if you want a more in-depth video, watch the video I made sometime last year. Description, link below. Alright, so I switched to the BBC just for quality and unlike the Chinese New Year Parade, I think this time I'm going to talk some shit. So, <laughs> check it out here. We have the gong guys here. The double gong, check it out. One on each side. Never seen that before. Oh, check it out, we got a Chinatown baby here. Scott Young. Hi! Oh, she don't want to wave back to me. <laughs> Alright, here we go. The Cheer Force ROTC, I reckon. And unlike San Francisco, the ROCC program here, they get to use rifles. For San Francisco, they use flags, which is kind of sad. But that happened in like in the 1990, I want to say 94-ish. They had some kind of a hazing issue and then they decided to ban all rifles in San Francisco. Thank you for your service. No Air Force. No, go Marines.
Let's check it out. Now we have the sheriff's department. They even got a boat. Well, no surprise, the Yuba and the Feather River is just right around the corner, so maybe they sail their way up and down. But check it out. Oh yeah. So about 10 minutes later, it's finally moving. Woo. And now we have the marching band here. You can tell how enthusiastic they are after waiting 10 minutes. They're just like, ah, get this over with. We have a Western dragon here. It looks like something I would dream of when I'm on like LSD or drugs. Oh, here's this dragon, but this one looks kind of small. I think there should be a bigger one coming up, but this will do as a teaser for now. Are they gonna light it? Or are they? Oh, what a teaser. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I guess they're waiting for the judges. They wanna wow the judges. What a bang. What about the normal people? We're judges too, come on. We're gonna judge you on Instagram and social media and YouTube. All right, now we have the Vikings from Norway. This is like the first official float we've seen so far. Hey! And poor guy, he got booted off the boat, he had to walk. <laughs> wow, now we have a school bus here. Check it out, bus drivers want it, free training. Chinese parents don't want free training, we want free education for our kids. Force our kids to go into school bus, go to school and go do your math homework. Well, next up, we have these lovely ladies dressed up. I can't tell what kind of costume they are, but the float itself is Chinese theme, I guess. Uh, cultural fusion, guys. This is America. All right, so we have the Sacramento Taiwanese Emergency assistant, woo! Sa hun tin zu dia, chi fun ko pa bia, ai bia, e cha, e ya. Alright, so check it out. So they're waving the, the flag right there, you see with the, the white sun. That is the Republic of China flag. And what's the connection between the Republic of China and Marysville? Well, in the early 1900s, Sun Yat-sen actually came here to Marysville to try to gain some financial and moral support to support the revolution that eventually overthrew the Qing Dynasty. So the, Repu the ROC, the Republic of China, there's a lot of influence on the early Chinatowns here in California as well, not just here in Marysville. And over here we have some random participants. Technically, we can just walk around the streets and pretend we're part of the parade too, no one's gonna know. We can be the Chinatown enthusiast. Wow, is that a tiger? A wooden tiger? From far away, I thought it was a horse. But <laughs> upon closer observation, a wooden tiger! Oh, we gotta catch up! Gotta catch up! They'll leave you behind. Like in Chinese academics, if you fall behind, they'll leave you behind too. And check it out, the Sutter Buttes. Uh, this has nothing to do with Chinatown, but yeah, let's go, woo! All right, now we have the E. Clampus Vitus. I don't know their exact role or what they do exactly, but when we went to uh, Calusa and we saw the plaques, they're the ones responsible for it. So I guess they're part of a historic, historic society. Check it out, guys. Wow. <laughs> hey, check this out. This guy behind me cooking hot dogs, making me hella hungry. Damn it. It reminds me of those late night evenings in San Francisco clubbing, you know, they just come out full force on Mission Street cooking hot dogs. But yeah.
So that was the Buckeye Parade guys and as for the Buckeye Festival, it's actually a two-day event. Today they have the parade and tomorrow they have something called Bomb Day in which I'll make a separate video of that. And for those of you wondering who Buckeye is and why they celebrate it here in Marysville, Buckeye is a deity known as the God of the North Stream so he had power to control water. And back then, the Yuba and the Feather River kept flooding so the Chinese they built the Buckeye Temple right there to help tame the river and somehow it just worked. So that's why they celebrate it and that's why it's so important here in Marysville. All right, so for this video, we're gonna end it here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the parade and hopefully you guys like this video. And if you guys wanna see more content about Bomb Day, then keep following. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, Jack's off.